Honey buns were the shit, dude. Was, and the cream pies. I else, like the what cream, else went pies. Away? cream pies. Cream pies, pies went away yeah. too with Roe versus Wade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they took them down, bro. <laughs> R.I.P. hostess. Yeah, I, I, I love the idea of a haunted hotel. You would, because you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I grew up, right? It used to be a thing in each neighborhood you would go and you would do like trick or treating and stuff like that. I didn't never do it because we're Joe's witness, so we always had the lights off and then we just like <laughs> we didn't breathe. You know what I mean? Like, oh, y'all, oh, y'all didn't and, like people knocking on y'all's yeah, door? No, <laughs> try it when it's raining. Like, exactly, bro. Exactly. Try it when it's raining. <laughs> Five year old little princess, bitch. Ace Ventura was so big. <laughs> <laughs> so talking out of your ass was a little <laughs> thing. Oh. Nobody, it was abandoned, so we would go in there sometimes and like play. <laughs> and this motherfucker took a shit in there one time, like just laid a log on the floor. I'm like, bro, we're oh, all what the fuck? Like, why, why would you do that, bro? We're always in here. Like, now we gotta find somewhere else to kick it. Like, it's all establishing dominance. <laughs> like, you know, like, next to my house, there's an abandoned house. That we would always go play in too, and this motherfucker shit in there too. What the dude. fuck, dude? Nah, this was a fet. Hey, yeah. remember people yeah, fetishes, fetish for sure, guys? Dude. That was a fetish. I burned down a whole acre when I was in second grade. Hey, like dude. my friend was getting home from after school. I was like, I'm gonna get a fire started. So when he gets here, he thinks I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wow. like it was like nothing but like yeah. this. Got like, that nothing fire but started. Dry desert. Dry ass. That shit got out of control quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like ah, ah, ah. I was trying to like I was trying to like fucking uh, like bat it with the yeah. big ass car. Board and I was just fanning <laughs> the flame. <laughs> 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 Same here, I won the fire prevention poster. <laughs> 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 testing, testing. Hello? Hello? All right, yeah, I can hear you guys. All right. Testies, testies, two, two testies. <laughs> two testies. <laughs> Six testies. <laughs> Six <laughs> testies, two ovaries. <laughs> We're just south of uh, Tombstone, Arizona, on a highway, cold desert highway. <laughs> cool uh, wind in my hair. Isn't this the Oregon Pipe Highway? I, have no I, idea. I don't know. Uh, going down to Rocky Point, there's like a big old forest of, well, I don't know if it's called a forest, if it's cactus. Cacti. Mm-hmm. It's just, just a bunch, a bunch of land. Yeah, just a bunch of land. It looked pretty nice. A bunch of like Oregon pipe cactus, those big old, I guess, saguaros. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Off track. This is the longest intro ever, right? <laughs> Hector out here with Roy. What's and up? Eunice and Tony. Hey. What's up? We're headed down to Bi- uh, past Bisbee, right? Yeah, past Bisbee. Bisbee. Mm-hmm. Going to Douglas. Going to Douglas. Right on the border. Right on the border of AP. Have you ever been yeah. to Agua Prieta? Mm-hmm. I've even been there uh, one time uh, yeah, yeah. in yellow pants. Oh, <laughs> hey, you're feeling you spicy. You were away. Yeah. <laughs> My friend was warning me, too. He's like, man, I don't think you should wear those in the AP, bro. Like, they're going to they're gonna be looking. They're baggy yellow pants. I thought I was all <laughs> cool and shit back like in 2004, 2005. Oh, shit, like those fubus? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, can we cuss? I never know the rules. Yeah, yeah, Okay, curse. hell yeah. Those fucking fubus, you remember <laughs> that, dude? I do. Or even the jean suits. The jinkos? Yeah, dude. I seen a dude with jinkos in, in Vegas the other week. It was a big-ass jinkos. I was like, holy shit. That's dope. Like four different pants out of those. Tony and <laughs> I saw Dice, like, during the pandemic, wearing jinkos. Dude. That's so right. You're fingerless dude. gloves and a yeah <laughs> dice clay yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he was wearing jinkos he had he had like black socks pulled up right below his knee and then jinkos <laughs> went down probably a quarter an inch above those socks and he was wearing like a t-shirt and fingerless gloves and glasses and what me yeah, and Tappan took acid right before that show yeah. started <laughs> nice but yeah that, it, it was it was fun I'm picturing like chaps. Yeah, he wasn't Kinda. wearing like no leather jackets and none of that shit. It was just like, it looked like he was almost in gym clothes, like he just left the gym. But put jinkos. But put the jinkos on and went, fuck it, this is what I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> so like talking to jinko, I was saying before we started that I wanted to do like a, a little topic of the podcast, like retro stuff or uh, stuff from the past that we used to like either laugh at or just thought was stupid or funny, like jinkos and shit. Yeah. My friend used to have some. Uh, they weren't they weren't jinkos, but they were like uh, 
there were pants sewn onto another pair of pants, so like it looks like you're sagging more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, shoot. so like you could, he would go to the grocery stores and literally like put three liter bottles in the back of his pants. Jesus. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> just walk out with three liter bottles. God damn, that's dope though. We used to steal 40s when I was younger too. Yeah, yeah. if you had the big boots too, the lugs or. No, whatever, not even. We would pay tims. for we would pay for some of them, but we'd slide of hand the others in a bag. So yeah. we got. <laughs> We got like six, but we paid for three, you know? Yeah, so, so. Oh, yeah. And I'd be badass growing up now with self checkout, man. That's been saving me. <laughs> <laughs> that's been saving me through all this inflation, man. I've got a freaking big screen for a jalapeno price. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not really. I was, I was like scanning different vegetables, but like I just put everything on like, the cheapest vegetables. Like we'll just weigh everything as a jalapeno. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not paying yeah, for fun. organic at self checkout. No, yeah, <laughs> nah, that's that's a special kind of person. Like yeah. I gotta make sure that this dollar ninety nine salary gets the right pricing. <laughs> like, yeah. just do it, really. I'm in, I'm in the register right next. Yeah. I'm paying eighty nine cents for the dollar ninety nine salary. Exactly. It's all it's all default cucumbers. Ma, man. Yeah. Mama <laughs> didn't raise no fool. <laughs> Oh, but she did raise a sinner. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember there was like a band and there was like a video that was like that. It was like a trench coat and stuff. It was like some. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know I'm a little baked. Yeah, you're pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was better than then too. Shoot, when <laughs> the you could weed? just buy Reggie from like somebody on the like. Playground oh, yeah. sounds Today's bad. Today's Reggie is yesterday's Kush. That's <laughs> how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah. Do you guys remember your first time getting high? Like oh, yeah. How oh, high you got? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw a damn, uh, what are those druids? Oh, shit, from like oh, the Undertaker shit. and shit? Yeah. <laughs> but well, my friend had a horse in his backyard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the I horse was standing like out. straight, you know, a straight profile, and it looked yeah. like a, a like a tall figure with like a big old cloak. Oh, I'm like shit. shaking my head, like looking three or four times, like what am I looking at? <laughs> oh shit! Bro. In in 1998, we got in the back of my friend's Ford Ranger, drove from North Louisiana to New Orleans to go to Mardi Gras, and we did mushrooms. Oh. And I took my pants off, tied them around my neck like a superhero cape, and walked down Bourbon Street, tripping my ass off with my pants off. I believe you. 100%. Yeah. Bottom, bottomless. I'm trying yeah, to I, picture I, this. I had draws on. I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had draws. I'm pretty on. sure. I didn't get a ticket or anything. <laughs> I'm 75% sure I had draws, but my pants were around my neck. You were Captain Underpants, bro. <laughs> yeah, you me. were the guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! When did this happen? When was that written? Nine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Quail man. Quail yeah. man with the yeah. belt around his head. Yeah, the belt around. Yeah. <laughs> God yeah, well, this damn. happened in like '98. I think I would have been 16 or 17. Oh, good shit. So, dude. yeah, that would have been around about the time the Doug cartoon was a thing. Not many people know dang. Doug Funny was addicted yeah. to heroin. That's what the what? Belt was for. That's what the bell was for. <laughs> yeah, he ran out of veins, <laughs> started going for the head. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I've heard of heroin users doing like veins in their toenails and like yeah, their eyeballs. That. Yeah, because they can't find anymore. Yeah, he yeah, went to his damn. forehead. God damn, get them forehead it's one of them veins. forehead junkies. Straight just get angry. Face. Just get angry before you do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pop out rage. a vein. Yeah, yeah. There it is. So good. So Roger was the dealer, right? In the <laughs> Roger <laughs> was the dealer. <laughs> oh god, that, dude. What? Why was it a thing back in the day to just fucking like drink tequila rose? Oh my God! Dude, you're so like right. I drank so much tequila. Part, rose. Yeah. I feel like that's on the same par with heroin, dude. Like well, we shouldn't talk it, about it. We know it exists. It was like alcoholic gogurt, bro. Like that milk shit was dude, so fucking good. I loved a tequila rose back in the day. I mother's know, milk. But that's, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, mother's milk. That's right. Who was that for, though? Like I, you know, I want something creamy that's gonna fuck me up. I want to feel I like a Mexican like kid, you know? Yeah, like I want to be like I'm in church. Damn near horchata, right? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I have horchata. I, I, I have some at the house. Sprinkle some cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Put yeah, some cinnamon dude. and white lightning in the horchata and you got it, man. Yeah, no shit. So the first time that I smoked out, <laughs> back to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> uh, like in the first time that I smoked out was a little one hitter. And it was at my friend's house. Shout out, Eastside. 
next to the oh, Wilmot what? Vista apartments where everybody's gotten shot at least once. Train track? Is that the ones where yeah. I used to live? Yeah, they're right Is up that... the street from you now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so then, so that's the thing is like there was a house that everybody knew the mom was never home. We all know that kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We were all there at some point. That they're providing and the kids yeah, are all fucking dude. up. Yeah, and the kids are just fucking off and it's the party house and it's a little one hitter. Everybody's taking it. It's, it's cashed out, dude. And everybody's just like, oh, man, I feel high. And I'm like, this shit's cashed out. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen it enough. I've seen enough people smoking. When was the first time you saw somebody smoking? <laughs> smoking weed? This is my cousin. Anything. Oh, smoking. Oh, my grandma used to smoke cigarettes all the time. Yeah, my dad used to smoke them in the car, too. Yeah. I used to buy them for my grandma. <laughs> Dude, I that's dope. I remember smelling it, smelling it before I saw it. Like I was like, that's, yeah. that's, what is that smell? Right. right. Yeah, like, right. that's, that's a just different. the smell of air in Something's the 80s. Something's going on in here. <laughs> that's yeah. just what. That's just the smell of the 1980s. That's that's just what yeah, it was. No shit, dude. It wasn't. It smells like cigarette. No, it just smells like the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's all fentanyl breezes. <laughs> dude, the first time I got high, I was um, I just sat on my friend's stairs for like two hours, just listened to music. Nice. Because inside. Yeah, inside. Because like, it was the first time they were watching a movie, and then I just I stopped halfway up the stairs because I was tripping out. <laughs> and then I had these headphones, and it was Nicki Minaj's first album. That what came the out. fuck? And this Dude, fucking... Boom, 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 no, no. It, was, it was this song called Shit It On Him, and the bass in my headphones. I shit it on him. It was like... Wah, 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 wah. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? It was awesome. I remember my journey was to get Pepsi, and I forgot about it, and I walked upstairs, and I just sat down. And they're like, dude, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. I shit it on him. I shit it on him. <laughs> on him. Damn, I lied. That wasn't my first time getting high. I went to the dentist one time and they, they put the gas on me. Oh. And I remember I had the craziest dreams. Like, I, I saw Lisa Simpson, like, flying in the air <laughs> with, rainbows, with rainbows coming out of her. That's and and so I ended up getting up. Like I remember waking up and trying to walk out of the room. And then the, 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 the nurse and the doctor were like, oh, we can't have him get up. We need to get him down and lay him down before that stuff wears off. <laughs> so they, they laid me down and they started pulling my tooth and I was fully awake. And oh, I was like, shit. no, no, no. <laughs> I just feel him like yanking it out. Bring I'm me like, back, no. Lisa. <laughs> Dude, Fucking on my bus, doc. <laughs> <laughs> that's so wild. Goddamn doctors. I tried to just leave the office and shit. I was like, all right, thanks, guys. It has been nice. Fuck this HMO bullshit. <laughs> so like when I was a teenager, like, I didn't get high much. Like, I did it a couple times. Then I joined the Air Force for 20 years. So, like, nothing. And I'm a late-in-life stoner. Um, shortly after I retired, me and Tony went with our couple other our psycho friends up to Vegas to go on a bender. Nice. And uh, and we go up there, and then our other friends from L.A. met us at our Airbnb. And uh, I took, took some edibles, and we smoked a blunt. And we're like, all right, man, let's go out and eat and go do comedy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go do that. And I'm fine. And we go, we go eat, and as soon as we finished eating, I just went, oh, my God, guys, I'm high. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> and, and our buddy Dom just shifted into dad mode. He's like, don't worry about this. I got everything. And he, he like, got the tab and got an Uber. And Tony, just make sure Roy gets in the Uber. And we, much, all, yeah. we all go back to the That's fucking so Airbnb, and it's all the strength I had to, like, Uber you guys to go do comedy because I was not functional. Yeah, you were done. You were still sitting in the same spot yeah. when we got back. Yeah, Dude. you guys go do comedy, come back, and I'm still sitting on the couch. <laughs> TV's not turned on. I'm yeah. just staring at the wall when you guys come back. So I was like, oh, yeah. I, I, Never you watched know. South Park. And I was like, I'm fucking 40. Why is this just now happening? You know? <laughs> Dude, the worst high that I ever had was from some brownies that I was barely learning, like, how to do my ratios of butter. I, I literally was sitting on the couch talking to myself about vomiting because I was just so gone looking at the tv dude and i'm just like we should vomit yeah we should but it's not gonna help i'm not sure you do vomit. you know no, yeah you i'm vomit. like do you know that for sure and i'm just talking to myself dude and then my sister's <laughs> in the corner recording me <laughs> and so like i got footage oh out loud not in your head no yeah, i was yeah. arguing <laughs> myself out loud like but we've never tried that before but how do you know it won't work my sister's you like, were your own one horse town. <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't have cameras when I was a teenager. Oh my god, I'm so glad to be my age. Dude. But we did not need a video of me 
in my underwear on Bourbon Street. That did not <laughs> need to be a video. I, don't know, I think that might get you credits right now. Dude. It might, dude. Get your I mean, book. yeah, I might could sell some more fucking tickets. Hey, so. It's Quail Man. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But then again, it was also kind of weirder then, because like I remember my grandma had these one um, like fucking footage, but it, there was never sound. It would just like be the like video. So I think that's even creepier, dude. It could be, but that's how deaf people live all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Tony. <laughs> Don't advocate. Speaking of old trends, deaf people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a 90s thing. <laughs> now they got hearing aids. Yeah, now they have a cochlear <laughs> implants now. <laughs> Dude, that is wild. Do you think they'll start doing eyeball transfusions like Minority Supposedly Report? Supposedly Stevie Wonder did that shit. Really? But that was back in the day. I don't know. So are we going to be talking about, remember when Stevie Wonder was blind? Oh, dude, what a fucking sentence that would be, huh? Shaq? I mean... I heard Shaq tell a story. He he lived in a... Or he had a, an apartment in the same building Stevie Wonder had one in New York. Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, I got on my elevator one time. And it was Stevie, and I didn't say nothing. I just got in and hit the button, and Stevie said, Sup, Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> and I turned around, and... How did he know that was me? <laughs> The labored yeah, breathing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, I can smell you. <laughs> Never smelled a human being as tall as this. <laughs> it smells like a Lakers guy. This is the cologne <laughs> of a seven foot tall man. Yeah. <laughs> smells <Dude>. like balls. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Dude, for real though, you know what's wild though? And this is just a thought. You remember the Wheaties box with Jordan on it? Yeah. And he's like dunking, right? I always thought that maybe that's why like i didn't like wheaties because it smelled like it sweat dude <laughs> <laughs> like I, dead ass i just thought that like man i i don't like this cereal that did the opposite for me i fucking worship michael jordan <laughs> do you want it as sweat <laughs> yeah you wanted the frosty i want whatever whatever, 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 whatever he had things. going on i wanted it i, I want, didn't give a fuck i want jordan a frost on my flakes, <laughs> <Frost> <laughs> flakes why do why do we have those those mascots like what do tigers have to do with flakes dude you know for what I mean? real like or the cookie crisp the who cookie, was that for yeah. <laughs> but we still we can't say regular the smacks they trained smacks us was a frog yeah dude, dude my dad, for real my dad still to this day puts sugar on smacks <laughs> Oh shit! Is they're he okay? great. Oh, like if like if they're cornflakes, is he yeah, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he fucking is he adds sugar right? to that. What thing. the <laughs> hell, dude? Dude, and corn pops. That shit I used, used to love to be the that sweetest. shit. I liked it. It was corn pops and honeycomb, that? bro. That was oh, my favorite. Honeycombs, honeycombs was it. Dude, and what was, was that mask? Got a little fucking psycho. Yeah, no shit. Do I remember dude. anybody drinking a cold brew when you were little? It was always coffee was always hot, right? Yeah, that <laughs> that's was true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Remember when cold brew didn't exist, guys? <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody got a cold coffee one day and was like, "This is all right." <laughs> no, you know, there's just that one guy. So was somebody mad was, was like, "I bet if we serve it cold, we can sell it to suckers for <laughs> yeah, five no bucks shit. a glass." Well, we can still sell this shit. No, it was one guy who, who was mad his coffee was cold, but he tried to convince everyone that it was cool, and he did it. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? he's like, "You just don't get it. You, you don't, don't get, get it. it. Cold, cold coffee is awesome." Awesome. They do it, it in Europe. Yeah, they do it in <laughs> Europe, yeah. Dude, I feel like that's how they sell a lot of stuff in Bisbee. Bye, Bisbee. Yeah, yeah bye, <laughs> we're Bisbee. Passing through, we're, but, like, I feel like that's passing how Passing through old it. Bisbee, then we're going to Warren. Open the Warren up. district where, like, real people live. Where mm-hmm. cold brew was invented. <laughs> <laughs> cold brew was invented. Open a restaurant, you have to, like, just serve cold food, like cold pizza or something. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit, Dude, right? that would Yesterday's sell. spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's what it's called. Yesterday's spaghetti. <laughs> this ad is brought to you by yesterday's spaghetti. That'd be spaghetti. a great hangover, John. We got some cold pizza. Cold pizza, yesterday's spaghetti. Isn't it always better the next day? Uh, <laughs> my pizza's a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> can you I'm guys, so sorry about that. Let me get can you a slice. Can you, get, can you just go to the freezer and bring out a tombstone? You don't have to heat it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like the crystals oh, on dude, it. Oh, dude, remember Red Baron pizza? Yes. And they used to promote that shit like it was good. <laughs> like you thought you were the shit if you had a Red Baron pizza. You remember or Stouffer's lasagna, bro? That, like they show the that, family. Uh, there was that commercial. They were they had the guy. It looked like a tombstone or something. The guy on the yeah. hangman's gallows, and he's like, "What would you like on your tombstone?" And he goes, "Pepperoni and cheese." <laughs> yes. Dude. Hey, you know what? I just realized that's how they got us, bro. All of these ads had a likable character. <laughs> Yeah, they like do the same Angel thing now. Mima. It's just all like Instagram ads and yeah, shit. Yeah, dude. Now it's just wording and like it's inspiring just influencers. quotes and shit. One thing I could never get my mom to buy me was pizza bagels. 
Oh, they didn't know. have a person. They didn't mark it right. The pizzas on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dude. I forgot about that. Dude, for like, real. We're not about to pay, pay fucking 10 extra bucks for a little ass fucking cookie of pizza. I shit. know. That's really what it was. They're little pizza cookies. The sliders. Or if you remember the fish sticks, the Gordon's Fisherman. Oh, yeah. And the dude looked creepy as fuck. Like, didn't he look like a serial killer dude, with the, the yellow slicker oh, and a Georgie, huge ass beard? Georgie yeah, all grown dude. Up. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. The fucking Gordon Fisherman. That, like, that, that Peanuts guy always scared me. Peanut. The Planters guy. Oh, Mr. Peanut? Hat. Fuck yeah. that guy. He's he's running the world, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the still, Illuminati yeah. guy. Yeah, dude. It's him and the Monopoly guy, dude. <laughs> that's anyone, why we have a monocle seen on top hat, yeah. Yeah, that's why they all got monocles, dude. It's a uniform. Mr. That's a one percent or uniform. Mr. Nut. <laughs> Mr. Nut. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. That's my nut, that's my nutty buddy right there. <laughs> dude, nutter buddies. That was that was. There was no mascot at the time either. I love this is a guy. Th- those didn't need a mascot. Oh, no, those, no, no, those were just good. <laughs> that was Debbie's, no? Those little no, Debbie, no. Are you lying no. about little Debbie right why now? Why would I? Why would I, I never lie on little Debbie? Are you stepping on little Debbie right now? <laughs> Honey buns were my shit though, dude. Honey buns were the shit, dude. Those, and the cream pies. I like the cream pies. What else went pies. away? Cream pies. Cream pies, cream pies went pies, away yeah. too with Roe versus Wade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they took them down, bro. <laughs> R.I.P. Hostess. <laughs> I'm gonna change my Tinder profile to that. <laughs> to cream pie. I support. What? I support cream pies. I support. You're right. Bring back Roe v. Wade. <laughs> bring back little for Debbie's a season. cream pie. No, bring it back for a season. Roe v. Wade only for summer. <laughs> you want that summer bikini body? Come on down and get your abortion. <laughs> <laughs> you want regular maple <laughs> Oh shit bro You know what else dude Like I just saw this thing I don't know how um how big your budget is If we get sued But there's a show <laughs> called Atlanta <laughs> Since we're throwing brands out there bro <laughs> Shout out Lil Debbie <laughs> No but so Fucking Atlanta So Google uh- Dude yeah but we were talking about this about the goofy movie oh yeah yeah dude i fucking love the goofy movie right but now i'm all fucked up because donald glover made a whole metaverse out of the goofy movie did y'all see the goofy movie i haven't seen it like it exists in the (gasps) metaverse now dude like he created a whole scenario where it's an original film about black people and the history of black people in america and when he's going through it and he has a character that is eventually like, I am goofy. I, I am the goofy. And then like he loses his mind in the show and then he just like dies or whatever. I know this is sad, but <laughs> is I love the goofy an movie. This it's yeah, in Atlanta. Atlanta, the oh, last season, dude. I just started it. <laughs> oh my God, when you get to it, like, oh my God. Oh dude, you have a goofy I'm sticker. Goofy on, I have goofy on my phone. <laughs> nice, dude. So, right? like. Back in the day, it was just like, oh, Goofy's cool. He's yeah, Goofy, Goofy was my favorite. All but the then time. why did he not stick up for Pluto, bro? He <laughs> let Pluto get punked. He let him get out of the solar system. Bro. Dude, he let Pluto. Oh, shit. That's yeah, funny. You went remember deep, when Pluto bro? was a planet? <laughs> you remember yeah. when they tried to take it away? Oh, that's retro too, right? That yeah. is retro. <laughs> it is in retro. <laughs> Pluto's in retrograde right now. <laughs> Give me back my planet. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking our planet. I want it's the a science star. Bird. Fuck you. It's a planet. Telling me my science fair win was a fluke. <laughs> yeah, bro. Just premature, sir. That's all. We need that ribbon back, by the way. Oh, and, and, now, <laughs> and now time doesn't exist. Remember <laughs> right. when they tried to take away daylight savings, bro? <laughs> time <doesn't> the <laughs> fuck? How you gonna take away daylight savings? It's not like clear Mountain Dew. I kind of miss daylight. In Texas, we had it, and like you, you had an excuse every like half a year to call in. There's an extra extra excuse to be late to work. They, oh, for the first week, I was like, dope. ah, shit, I'm sorry about I'm, that, boss. Yeah, my clocks are wrong. <laughs> I'm an hour late, sorry. Like, hey, it's that like, time went ahead forward. You should be here an hour early. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude, right? Uh, yeah, I'm a, I, I forgot to set my clock. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> but that would oh, suck. I was you not sh- out drinking up, last night. You show up to work an hour early, that would suck, though. You'd be like, oh, what the hell am I going to do here for an hour? <laughs> 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 so you call out. So you call out. <laughs> Sure as shit not gonna work. Fuck <laughs> yeah. that. I'd be mad if I was there. Like, fuck, no one else is here. <laughs> I've done that too because I used to take the bus everywhere. I just get there super early. I'm like, this is bullshit. Isn't I remember, it? I remember picking my classes all at like noon 
for college, but I still have to wake up at like seven so I can catch all the right buses to get to campus. Dude, oh, you remember when the buses had the pull string instead of the little button? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Dude, yeah, I, I used to that. fuck with that shit all the time. I loved it. Dude, dude you know, crackheads do the same thing. That's funny you did that. I was five though. <laughs> <Now> it's, <laughs> a, it's a app now or what? No, <laughs> yeah, it's, dude, it's just they just stopped. That's dude. how they keep like, the crackheads yeah. off of it. <laughs> Nah, dude. I mean, they got phones too. You didn't. You yeah. don't remember? Remember when crackheads didn't have phones? <laughs> you remember when free phones? When they dude, just had crack? <laughs> do, you, do you remember when pay phones were how you talk to people? It's like not that you old. would go and put the quarter yeah. in oh, and yeah, shit, dude. C A L L A T. Holy shit! Yes, dude. And then you would just say real fast, "I'm at the store. Come get me." And then you hang up. Ten, ten, three, two, one. Yeah. Dude, that was ten, ten, two, twenty. Star sixty nine, bro. Ten, ten, then one, then the number. Holy shit, dude. Oh man, I just yeah. Carrot Top was the mascot for that shit, right? The the collect calls or whatever. Yeah. Something like that. I remember Dennis Miller doing one too. Oh yeah, dude. Remember when Dennis Miller was around, dude? Like. He was in the scene for a minute. And then Kevin Nealon, too, and he was all young. Kevin Nealon on was SNL? awesome on Weeds. Dude, he was He so was the good. shit on Weeds. Weeds was a fucking good show, too. Yeah. You guys remember when there were good shows? <laughs> Do you remember movies? when you waited for just shows? Mo- just yeah. Movies. You had to wait a whole week for a show. to. You couldn't just binge watch. The fact that people can binge watch shows, which is cool now because it shows I've watched. But yeah, like, I like it. But well, like, if you missed oh. it, you missed it, right? Right. For real. Yeah, you have to hear about it. And hopefully your friends watch that show. Yeah. No, you don't want them motherfuckers watching either because I don't want to hear them cocksuckers talking about a right. show I didn't watch. Dude, remember? I don't get the fucking channel. Right. You Do know? y'all remember when it was like the fucking uh, OJ trial and like yeah. how people were like, don't tell me. And we're watching it almost like it was a fucking game, dude, like a football game. Like, now nah, I recorded it. I'm going to watch it <laughs> yeah, later. That's right, yeah. Da, da, da. That's wild, well, dude. That's funny. Like, Everybody involved was a celebrity. It was like the were, Kardashian dude. dad and Judge Ito and... and all of them. Yeah. Dude. Norm MacDonald. <laughs> yeah, Norm MacDonald, you know, Tim Meadows, who were the best, you know. For real. But, yeah, everybody in that trial was a fucking celebrity. And, and because it was the only thing anybody watched. Everybody remembers where yeah. they were on 9-11 and yep. OJ got and the free. Yeah, <laughs> no shit, well, dude. I remember all the old men in Arkansas, I can't believe he got away with the song. You know he did it. Like, Shut the fuck up. Who cares? Dude, I don't have anything know. to do with you. I'm eight. I don't care. Exactly, <laughs> you know, dude. When, or even to um, when the riots happened and stuff, and like they kept trying to bring back riots after the Rodney King thing. And, like, so every year, everybody, like, oh, they're going to start another riot. So, like, for years, it was, like, there's going to be a riot. Dude. Yeah, they do the yeah, same thing for 9-11. Dude. There's going to be another 9-11 scale. Like, it's always the big thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? like, the news would just do that instead of talk shit about, like, the candidates. And, <laughs> like, they believe in your right to own extra dogs. How dare they? <laughs> And all these slander ass campaigns. Oh, dude. yeah. I was telling you about that campaign I saw that on YouTube. It was uh, the cartels are sneaking yeah, in yeah with the yeah. piñata disguise, candy whatever disguise as candy for your kids like, are Ooh. they setting up like trick? are they going well, to the no hot, on cartel for candy the hot, yeah, tri- yeah, hot trick or treating areas they're, they're setting up trunk or treats bro for yeah. real they're playing like, corridos like, I know right I was, I was on Instagram cracking shit. jokes like parents beware People will give your kids sugar-free candy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I think there are people that give out shot. fruit for Halloween. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> hey, Parents, you know, don't trick or treat at houses where they give out butterscotch. Robin, <laughs> that Robin, shit sucks. Robin noodles. Maruchan <laughs> cups. And the guy's more sad that he's giving it away because he feels bad for not having candy, but that's his yeah. dinner for the next two days. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, that's, that's all, all I got. <laughs> For sure, dude. So here's the thing: when I when I grew up, right, it used to be a thing in each neighborhood. You would go and you would do like trick or treating and stuff like that. I didn't never do it because we're Joe's witness, so we always had the lights off, and then we just like <laughs> we didn't breathe. You know what I mean? Like, oh, y'all, oh, y'all and, didn't like people knocking on your yeah, door. Yeah, <laughs> no, dude. Exactly, bro. It's the one day out of the year, bro. Yeah, the Jehovah's Witness is like fucking posers. <laughs> we do this shit you all year. You do this one time. You call that a 
that knock. Trying about that knock. Exactly. Trying about that knock life. Try it when it's raining. Like exactly, bro. Exactly. Try it when it's raining. Five year old little princess, bitch. You don't know. You I don't, don't get to celebrate know. birthdays. Fuck you. Spider Man, go suck a dick, all right? <laughs> But when I was a kid, I was saying that to other kids, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad if it's a kid to a kid. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Suck My Dick barely <laughs> came out? And people hated it. You were you were in such trouble if you said that. You were, dude. Well, it well, was D bad. D-Generation D X? With oh, yeah. yeah. Suck, it. suck It. For yeah. real, <laughs> with the little X. Yeah, dude, Suck It. Wasn't there a wrestler, too? Wasn't that Stone Cold or somebody? No, that was Triple H yeah. and Shawn Michaels. Oh, so. yeah, Shawn yeah. Michaels used to yes. do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'd go to school and do that. That would be the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you would you could watch wrestling and it was like these stunts are done by professionals. Do not do these or at home. To but they did they bars. didn't yeah. say do not go to fourth grade and tell your teacher to <laughs> suck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, or the fucking the fucking uh, what's his face Rikishi that was just butt oh, slamming when everybody. The, when you just fucking put his ass in your yeah, face. Yeah, dude. Like, how was that all right? Like. I it mean, it was right, beyond Rick. all right. It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, <Rick. laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, you do that shit now, you get canceled for fat shaming, bro. We would wrestle on a, on a trampoline, and we, there was this one kid, man. I, I feel kind of bad about it now, but we would pick on him. He was like big, a little bit bigger. And we oh, would I remember him. you now. We would <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you. <laughs> yeah, we would pick on him. We were calling him white, white jello and the, the oh, hell. Like, shit. <laughs> and he got mad at us one day and he like took off walking through like it was a field like this. We called it the Monte or whatever. He just took off yeah. to the middle of the field. And he like in the middle of the field, he, he like drops down like all the way to the floor and you just see a cloud of dust. And then oh. like, he, he like thrusts his, hip, his hips up and he does the suck it thing. Like, uh. <laughs> The ultimate. Yeah, he's like, he's like, Screw Respect. you guys. <laughs> God damn. And you guys were like, he, he did that to us. I know. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, or I know you are, but what oh am my I? God, bro. Oh, bro, dude, those phrases. <laughs> What the hell? Or up your butt and around the you, corner. You, now it's just a good time. I like, I like sit on this and rotate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spin, dude. Spin on it. You knew someone, some kid had a bad life when they didn't even do those. They just said, your mom's a whore. Dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, huh, dude. So, funny story. Dead ass. Dead, <laughs> dead, dead ass. ass. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> dude. <laughs> the, the fucking phrases now, bro. Like, I still am like in awe i love language but dude when i was a kid i was like two second grade actually not two years old because i didn't remember that there yeah there was grade. a two yeah. there. <laughs> fucking second grade dude ace venture was so big <laughs> So talking out of your ass was a literal thing, bro. It was, it was a literal thing. We had our own language. Yeah. <laughs> I see you, puppy pants. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we had slurs. Hey, no. teacher, I would like to ask you a you few questions. A few questions. Yeah, dude. I love that shit. Dude. I remember one of my fucking friend's dads narked on me because he dropped off his daughter. This was also like first or second grade. Yeah. And me and my other buddy Joel and her, we all we were all just, you know, joking. And I got home and my dad goes, Hey, I heard you're a class clown. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. He's like, No, that's not cool. Like, what are you why are you fucking up? Like, isn't that awesome? Like a clowns are like fun for people, it's right? A career. Like, Man, ass clown. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what and you got. Now I'm a comedian, yeah. <laughs> It's full Who's circle. Laughing now, dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you glad I dropped out of college? <laughs> I dropped out of college. I'm a broke-ass comedian like all my broke-ass comedian <laughs> friends. <laughs> but they like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm cool, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm a merman, dad. <laughs> I killed last week. I just wrote a joke about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Both my sisters yeah. have good careers. <laughs> <laughs> dude, remember when sisters were a thief? <laughs> no, like, I mean, like... <laughs> like, like you would see those stupid ads, dude, at night. Like, oh, look at sorority sisters. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Like, those For fucking... only a dollar a minute. Yeah, those, those bro. <laughs> it was such a fetish, dude. Like, oh, sisters. Are you awake? Not Obviously. Sister. Yeah, dude. It's like the, por the porn commercials. Are, Are you, you by yourself? Uh, of course. I I'm watching fucking Pornhub. <laughs> right. Are you up? 
<laughs> what about now? <laughs> the stupid girls gone wild music. Dude, dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun, the fucking dun, 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 dun. the steel drum. Dun, dun, yeah. <laughs> Having dreams to that shit. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That was random as fuck. Remember when you could steal a cable and you could get the dirty channels? No, I never could. We had, the, we had the little, the, there were like little tubes like this big. Yeah, we had like dude. four of them in the back. One was HBO, one was Cinemax, one was. <laughs> yeah, the cords. I think my dude. mom was dating the take cable guy. Yeah, probably, bro. There's always one in the area and like, yeah, 20 bucks, I'll hook you up. We, we had the guy down the street that had all the good channels. Hell so, yeah. like, yeah, we just go over to his house. That it's Friday is. night. But we used to get the. Uh, I used to organize <laughs> pay-per-view parties at my house where all of my friends would like throw in five bucks. Yeah. Nice. We order the pay-per-view. My mom would make nachos and shit. <laughs> Dude, pay-per-view. We would do that all for wrestling. wrestling. We'd yeah, all wrestle yep. in the backyard. Yeah. That's what I did too. Somebody would go home crying. Right. Dude, can't I heard it in my own house. I was like, you can't come over anymore. You gotta sign the waiver. <laughs> <laughs> mom said you have to sign this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come to Look. Ultimate Death Match. <laughs> Three. You have to watch this, otherwise you're not getting any pizza. Pyrotechnics. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. We have so like funny. fireworks, just the Roman candles. Like you stand right there and you're gonna just light these. Yeah. You gotta synchronize them, bro. You gotta light them at the same time. One would always be going, the other one would still be trying to get lit. Dude, you remember? We would when shoot each other with the Roman candles. <laughs> Dude, remember like, when that was a thing to shoot each other with BB guns and shit? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like we, you could we buy would, at the SWAT meet. That's what I was We, we would too. use Roman <laughs> candles and bottle rockets. BB guns, you wear like three shirts. And yeah, we would hide <laughs> behind shit and like try to sneak out from behind whatever you're hiding and blow up your brother and he's trying to <laughs> blow you up. and We'd run out of Roman candles fast and then it, it'd resort to... Rocks. To bottle rockets, and <laughs> what we would do is we would find like little pipes we would stick the bottle rockets in because they would shoot farther. Nice. Yeah. Dude. We, People we got get, scars from this shit, and we're friend, all laughing. My friend used to get like, I don't know where he got bullets from when we were kids, but. Oh shit. You would put them in a straw and just what? throw them in the air, and we'd just get back and like it would land bullet down and bob just pop up in there. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's the most dangerous <laughs> game of Russia <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Bro, we used to just find like empty like glass bottles and throw them in a ditch. Like y'all oh, yeah. actually found bullets. <laughs> God damn. I burnt down a whole acre when I was in second grade. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> we had like a little club out there. When it was beside my house too, I could oh, burn my house down. <laughs> oh shit. I was like, dude. my friend was getting home from after school. I was like, I'm gonna get a fire started so when he gets here he thinks I'm cool. <laughs> 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 and it was wow. like it was like nothing but like yeah, this. Like, got that fire but started. Dry desert. <laughs> Dry ass bushes. Yeah, like and it, shit. it was even like a cardboard that we, we would like sit that was a mesquite plant that kinda like had like a little hollow thing where we would chill under. And I don't know why I got the yeah. idea that I could start a fire right there and fuck. Yeah, that shit got out of control quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, ah, ah, no, ah. I was trying to like, I was trying to like fucking uh, like bat it with the yeah. big ass cardboard, and I was just fanning <laughs> the flame. <laughs> <laughs> and I just took off running. <laughs> you bring I, like, you bring like a cup of water. <laughs> I, I ran away. They were like looking for me. I went and hid in a ditch and shit. I was all scared, oh, thinking shit. I was gonna get in trouble. My parents were all going around, heck, there, where you at? <laughs> we forgive you. <laughs> 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 We're not mad. Dude, remember what that was a thing? That was a Dude, lie. We're not mad. <laughs> That's a lie. We won't hit you, we promise. Right, and then you get home and they beat the fuck out we, of you. We, yeah. we won't hit you. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Yeah, just tell me the truth. We won't hit you. And then, promise. They, hit you, and then they hit you for lying. Yeah, you, yeah, were, yeah, you, on, you only told the truth once. I'm yeah. like, I'd rather fucker. just lie. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this right, but that same year I won the fire prevention poster. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that scruffy dog. I don't know. I don't know if they felt bad for me, right? <laughs> dude, they gave him a good smoky hat. hat. Yeah, dude, they gave him a smoky badge. It's the only you can prevent. This fool. <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires. For real, this what, a, what, about a, what about a desert fire? <laughs> Did you? Uh, did your friend think you were cool? <laughs> <laughs> it was like closer to his house than mine. I could have burned down both of our houses, <laughs> literally like across the street from his. That'd be great if you just came out of the ditch. I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, fool. That dude was crazy, man. He was like a little bit older than me, so he would fucking like. He was the first dude that I, I would with. And he would have porno magazines and shit like that. His like his uncle would have. Cause it was oh, like a, he, he would stay in a trailer ne next to us, yeah. And then uh, they had an extra trailer. I guess they would rent out, 
oh. and nobody it was abandoned so we would go in there sometimes and like play <laughs> and this motherfucker took a shit in there one time like just laid a log on the floor i'm like bro we're oh, all what the fuck? Like, why, why would you do that bro we're always in here like now we gotta find somewhere else to kick it <laughs> he's all establishing dominance <laughs> he, like, went, yeah he went to the show like check it out look what i did like what the fuck bro? <laughs> yeah that's kind of crazy that shit, bro. Cool. that shit ain't cool bro <laughs> literally like, it's one thing when you do a magnificent one and you're like hey hey you go get your little brother hey man Come look at this one. You show him inside the toilet. <laughs> you know, oil. because we're gross dudes. Perfect but pinch. Dude, <laughs> perfect pinch. Look at it, man. It's 12 inches long. <laughs> Clean cut. <laughs> God damn, dude. Why would you? Sh- I'm still stuck on that. Why would you shit on the floor? It was dominant. There's no bro. toilet paper, dude. You still got that dookie booty? <laughs> Dude. Like, well, the, the plumbing isn't working. Where else am I supposed to go? Outside. <laughs> or in his house. Was yeah. Literally, was his, literally like, yeah the one his house was literally like 20 steps away. Like, yeah. <laughs> we weren't out in the middle of nowhere or anything. It was a, it was a trailer on his property. <laughs> God damn, dude. He didn't want you hanging out there anymore, dude. He cleaned it up right away after. His watching. mom was like, I want you to come out and play. Don't come da- back till the sun goes down. <laughs> Don't let and, that little shitter back. And he <laughs> took that literal. I want to see that little shit over here. Girl. I want to see that little shit. No, Dude. And then there's this we other ran house. Out of toilet paper. Go somewhere else. We had an abandoned <laughs> house like next to my house. There was an abandoned house that we would always go play in too, and this motherfucker shit in there too. What the Ooh. fuck, dude? Nah, this was a fat. Fe- and yeah. remember before that was fetishes, a fetish guys? Sure, dude. That was a fetish. <laughs> you remember before fetishes, guys? And it wasn't even sexual. He just loved watching his friends watch him take yeah, a shit. Dude. He just likes watching people smell yeah. his shit. Like, I was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm a I don't get enough love at home. This is what I get. Like I'm going to shit on it. He locks the windows and like, <laughs> <laughs> farts in the car. Dude. I... I knew a guy who did that shit. That pissed me off. His name was Jelly Roll. He was a fat-ass motherfucker. Dude. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember his real name. We just call him Jelly all the time. <laughs> That's uh, why he'd be uh, farting on you. <laughs> hotel. Oh, Hotel. What? Oh, the Haunted One. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, I think it is the Gatsby. There's a speaky- yeah. So is it still open? They said there's a speakeasy down there. Oh, Oh, I don't shit. know. When we, yeah, I don't know. When we came here last time, uh, I wanted to stay there because I, I, I love the idea of a Haunted Hotel. You would, because you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is freaking because the fuck out. You're cool as a cucumber. Apparitions, I know, man. Why, what is it? What is it? Look at it. Tell me what uh-huh. this is. What's guys- floating in the air, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and like, well, who are you talking to, Tori? And then I'd, I'd be mean to you guys. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. I can still hear. Dude, like the shining. Remember when the shining wasn't a cool thing, dude? Who's rubbing my back? And it actually. Yeah, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. Red room, red room. Dude. This is a fucked up Scooby gang right now. Dude, goddamn! <laughs> Remember when Scooby was big, dude? Scooby was the shit. And everybody had a Scooby backpack. I did. And then there was that one kid with the swat me one that was a little wonky. <laughs> so it looked like a Rottweiler instead of Scooby. <laughs> was there never an off-brand uh, Scooby-Doo? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. And Tweety Bird for some reason. Oh, everybody yeah, everyone had a loved, Tweety My Bird mom loves Tweety Bird. Fucking sweater, That's backpack. the most gangster thing about my mom. Everything Tweety. <laughs> Dude, and Tweety wearing a Raiders yeah, jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought a playoff. Yeah, dude, or Taz, Tasmanian, Tasmanian Devil, Devil on was everything, too, yeah. dude. It was Bugs, Tweety, and Taz. For real, dude. And Marvin the Martian. I did like. I fucked with Marvin. Marvin the Marvin Martian, though, Mexicans. Cool, those are the. Those are the ones who like. He was salty. <laughs> He was just like, yeah, whatever. The alien. Blow it up. The alien, yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, dude. Fucking cartoons were wild back then. Like, you yeah, had cross dressing and, Jerry, and everything. Tom and Jerry was my dude, shit. Dude, Pinky and the Brain. Yeah. Oh, what are we Remember when night? the Simpsons were funny? Yeah, Bro, I do. Before they became prophets. I used to record them all on fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a VHS collection of all the Simpsons episodes. I thought I was going to one day, like, rent them out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I will be Netflix. Yeah, this is gold. <laughs> this is gold right here. I am the blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You invented binge watch. Dude, I, I, would, I would record, I would record uh, fucking movies to cable, like the free, the movies that would already make it to cable, like that nobody wanted to see anymore. I'm thinking damn. like people are gonna pay to see this, <laughs> <laughs> commercials and all. <laughs> <laughs> Po- well, poorly edited commercials. <laughs> yeah. Dude, do dude, you remember when you used to make mixtapes from the yeah, radio, dude. dude? And you would just record you for hours. You hold your shit from the, from the, in front of the radio? Give it to your yeah, chick. Dude, then you you got to turn it off before you hear it. 97.5 yeah. on your FM yeah. dial. We yeah. don't play anything but rock. 
Dude. Butt rock. <laughs> Butt rock. Man, that shit was fun. We should have done it the whole way instead of half. <laughs> <laughs> shit Thanks for by. having us. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Give y'all the Instagram handle so people can find you on it and make it easier for me to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> that is full. I'm at Roy Lee Reynolds. I'm at Y.U.N.A.99. 99. 99. 99. And you can find me uh, at Tony Bruin official. Bruin is B R U H N N is in November. And what? I'm not going to spell official. Y2K. Y2K, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to Smooth Jazz. All right, well, we just got here to fucking Douglas. We're about to perform. We're probably at Stone's Thrown from the border, right? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah. yeah. There's it's like right two here. streets down. All right, wish us luck. They said we're performing at a cartel bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we don't say nothing I dressed stupid. wrong for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got a vest. You're all right. <laughs> all right. Laters.